even if you are a nurse endoscopist with the NHS, the NHS will start you at band 7. And band 7, I think they end about 40, 45 and above, even up to 70 per annum. I'm just going to quit this YouTube and continue my private life, probably going on my vacation and, and being myself how I have been. People, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Deo and if you are seeing my face for the first time, thank you so much for joining. In today's video, I am going to be reacting to my last video about a nurse earning about 1,000, not even about, earning 1,500 pounds per day for a 10 hour shift with an agency. I'm going to be reacting to that video and also some of the feedbacks I've gotten and horrible comments like really really horrible comments from people guys if you have been following me before i even started my youtube channel or before i started coming out on social media you will know i'm not someone who does things to chase clout i am a very private person and most of the times why i post how much i earn per day or highest paying agencies is to help people because i see a lot of funny comments like uk nurses do not any uk nurses blah 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 they are low paid and all that fine when i see those videos sometimes i feel like these people are just ignorant of the fact that number one the nhs is not the only employer in the uk they are the largest they are the biggest they are the ones that actually give faster cos and all the bits that comes with employment they have the best um, employee benefits and all that but they are not the only agency here in the uk so when people come out to say those things and i know that people earn more and i also earn so much i feel like i need to educate people and sometimes i tell people personally not really posting it all out or making a video about it and they tell me thank you that oh i've helped them and all that and i find joy in that so starting up my channel and i feel like it's an avenue for me to let people know that yes you can be a uk nurse and still earn more and getting those feedback it really hurts although it doesn't like take anything from me but it still makes me feel like the reason why people feel the uk pays nurses low is because people do not really know that you can earn more and that's one thing with nurses we are not ready to make necessary inquiries we're not ready to make research we just want to bank on what our old nurses have been getting and we just want to, just like in Nigeria as well, we just say, oh, this is this has been the practice, so it should continue or why will I change something that has been happening? Every nurse earn 100,000, so I should earn 100,000. No, that's not what should be. That's not how we should continue. In the UK, there are lots of specialist roles that have started coming up for nurses. Um, I think the next one coming up will be surgical care practitioners where nurses will be able to carry out minor procedures like appendectomy and other procedures that they will be certified to carry out. And definitely that role is going to be a very specialist role and you do not expect them to pay them less, especially if they work with agency. Now, if you are a nurse endoscopist, I also explained in that video that being a nurse working in an endoscopy ward is a different ball game from being a nurse endoscopist okay so you as a nurse endoscopist you are carrying out the procedure you're not assisting any doctor you're not waiting for them in the recovery room you're not preparing the patient no you are the boss you are the one carrying out the procedure you have been certified to carry the procedure so of course you do not you do not expect yourself to be paid less because you're actually doing what the doctor is supposed to do. I don't know if you people get the clause. So if you are not informed, go online and read about these rules. It's the same thing with nurse anesthetics. These people are the one giving the anesthesia, but a nurse working in, a, in an anesthetic unit do not give anesthesia in the UK. So that's what you people do not understand. So when people go about saying, oh, she's doing it for cloud, what clouds do I look? Of course, I need views on my channel. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I do not need people to know about my channel or it's the goal of every content creator to have the visibility and all that. But Deo will not do anything for clout. I've built my name for years. I built my name. My name is my brand. I've built my name for years and I will not let YouTube. How much does YouTube pay? I wouldn't let the views I want from YouTube to spoil my name or dent my image. Okay. 
I'll still go in on posting things that I feel will help people, but doing something for clouds. A friend of mine sent me this video. I Cloud, cloud, cloud. She was doing that for clout. Seriously, there is no way in England you get paid £150 for an hour. Please, stop it. Stop it, really. And then she goes on to say, click on my YouTube channel. There is no YouTube channel, nothing. You're not it. There is nowhere. Please, stop it. It's triggering. Don't make us feel like we, we don't know what we're doing. I've received like comments and all that and some of them on my channel and i've deleted them some of them did not even watch it just saw, just saw the thumbnail and decided to drop hate comments on my post and i've been deleting some of them and of course my friend just sent me this tiktok video about me on tiktok i'm not even that active on tiktok but i do post once in a blue moon and she sent it to me and i'm like really are people that naive if i posted this and i posted it with the website and the company online someone also in the comment section went ahead to check the website by themselves i'm not saying take everything you see online as truth but definitely make your research the website i posted i posted the website you can go and read about them they are verifiable everybody know that agency if you are doubting you can actually call them to verify i am not working for them Number one, I don't work for them. I am not a nurse endoscopist. But a friend of mine who works for them was kind enough to tell me about this agency because she knows that I am very, very hardworking and I love the good life. So she told me about it and she showed me a pay slip. And of course, I was just too happy to hold that kind of amount. I have shared here on YouTube the highest I've received. I also shared the highest paying agencies. And of course, if I see something that is higher than what I have done, it's only nice for me to come on here to still tell you people the way. But I made it clear in the video that I do not end that much and I am not a nurse endoscopist. But of course, if you are interested in that role, you can actually apply and there's nothing wrong with you any more than me or any more than anyone. But for people to be ignorant about the fact that you can actually get good skills in the UK and end that much, it's just beyond me guys it's just beyond me number one even if you are a nurse endoscopist with the nhs the nhs will stand you at band seven and band seven i think they end about 40 45 and above even up to 70 per annum but if you go ahead to work with these agencies that pay escalated rates you will be able to earn that much it's on their website guys I, i'm not even saying things i don't know you some of you have watched the video and you have also um, gone to the website to confirm it yourself but people do not even want to know what i'm saying or they do not even want to go check the website themselves or they don't want to even make their research and they just stand up make a video about me guys i feel like i'm just gonna quit this youtube and continue my private life probably going on my vacation and and being myself how i have been because i don't know how to help people that do not want to be helped because it's beyond me I get a lot of messages there how are you able to fund your travel how and if i tell you what i'm doing you will not believe it so what is the point West paying employer in the uk and if you call all the top first world country the nhs is the lowest but that doesn't mean the nhs is the only employer in the uk we've got lots of agencies that people work for and people that have their indefinite leave to remain in the uk some of them quit nhs to work full-time agencies and they are making so much money in the uk so if you still have that idea that nurses in the UK are paid less, that's fine. I agree with you. When you want to compare to first world country, the UK is less. But making it seems like everybody's earning 25000 per year or everybody's earning 30000 per annum is ridiculous. And it's something you need to change your mind, okay? I know I promised you a video of other specialties. But guys, I just have this low mood and I don't think I want to even make that video anymore. You guys go online and make your research because guys, it's really, it's annoying right now. And yeah, I just thought I'll come on here to clear the air because it's not nice for me to come on and start saying other agencies. Meanwhile, people do not really believe you can actually earn that much. Also, someone sent me a message on how an ICU nurse earns 3000 plus per week. I have never had any ICU nurse earning that much. But every day we learn and if I am interested in ICU, I'll actually go meet him and can you connect me to this agency that is, that is paying this amount. He said it's in Scotland, but of course I will go and ask him and from there work with them because most of the agencies I know do not pay ICU nurses that much. But that doesn't mean I will now say, oh, you are lying or you don't know what you're saying. Of course, 
that's the reason why people do not tell you how much they earn because number one they do not want you to come and earn that same amount or secondly they do not want you to know how much they earn and the the lesser we are in this specialty the better for me because i am actually planning to go into the specialty and if we are less that that means i'll be getting more shifts right so yeah if you believe if you don't believe that's still fine i am not here to convince anybody what i'm here to do is share the information it's your duty to go make your further research and if you say it's lie that's fine if you say it's true up to you thank you so much for coming to my ted talk guys i am just like i need to rant because it's over me now see you guys in my next video